Hello again. Welcome back. Last week we dealt with the small group of snakes known as green or bush snakes. We learned that they are represented in Zambia by four distinct species. We also saw that although they can appear to be quite aggressive, they are in fact non-venomous and are seen mainly during the wet season. This week we are showing the first of our snake species classified as dangerously venomous, but with no deaths from inflicted bites on record, the night adders. Night adders are represented in Zambia by five distinct species. The common or rhombic night adder occurring across the country. The lined night adder, known to occur across the country. Rasmussen's night adder, thus far only having been encountered from the central province and northwards. The snouted night adder, known to occur across the country. The forest night adder, occurring mainly in the heavily forested habitats of the northern and northwestern provinces. The anomaly with night adders seems to be that they are seldom seen at night time and are not true adders but are related to the adders or vipers. They are easily agitated snakes with relatively long venom fangs, equipped with a cytotoxic or tissue affecting venom, inflicting a painful bite that will need medical treatment for pain and swelling. Enjoy this interesting comparison video between two of the night adder species. Hi again, I have something very very interesting for you now. I'd like you to see the difference between these two snakes. Now this one here on your left is a snake that was declared a new species in 2013 and you'll see the Gazette, the government Gazette from D Zimbabwe uh, named and specified by Dr. Don Broadley, the late Dr. Don Broadley and it is specified as being Causus Rasmuseni. The one here on the left is the one that is most common in this country all over the place and it's still known as Causus Rhombitus. Now these ones can come in all sorts of color variations and you'll see the photographs also on the on the Facebook page associated with this video but you can see here, if you look closely, the markings on this one are like bars across the body at regular intervals. They're very faint and sometimes they're actually non-existent. Whereas on this one, Causus Rasmuseni, and you'll see the photographs, albeit of a dead specimen, on the Gazette are exactly the same. This one has blotches at regular intervals along its body. Now both of them are night adders, so they're both of the genus Causus, and in Bemba they are known as Tsila Banchila. They both get to approximately the same size. Now this one is this one is a very rare occurrence here. It's only the second one, sorry, the third one that I have ever captured or had the, the pleasure of handling. Whereas these I have handled 80, 90 of these and their behavior seems to be the same. Let me see if I can give you an idea of the behavior. I know these snakes just want to go now, they're already used to me handling them. Yeah, sometimes these can be very aggressive, they're quite a nasty snake, but uh, you'll find them very being more, much more prevalent and active in the dry season than now in the wet season. They're actually quite calm. <coughs> yeah, they don't seem to want to. These, uh, they have a weird behavior of completely flattening their bodies and twitching their tails. And they will hiss and strike repeatedly when you first encounter them. But you can see a clear difference between these two. There is a, a slight difference in the scale count on what we call the labia or the upper and lower lips. Buff adder, but less potent. And uh, night adders tend to have a very inefficient venom delivery system. Which means that instead of the, the usual hypodermic needle type venom fangs, they have a grooved fang and they have exceptionally long venom glands which extend about this far down the body and the muscles around the venom glands are quite weak so these ones when they're eating their food when they catch a frog they will hang on to it until it's dead to ensure that there's enough venom to kill its food 